My role at Salem is I'm the general manager of our Washington, D.C. properties. We're actually located in Arlington, Virginia, right across the Key Bridge, which takes you into downtown Georgetown. Well, I always knew about Salem as a broadcaster, but I never understood the depth and scope of all the holdings and operations. I guess you can blame John Latzer, who called me in fall of 2019 to tell me about the opening within the sales department of the operations in Washington, D.C. And then I learned more from Gail Jackson, my uh, former traffic director uh, from another broadcast company. And then I, I really learned uh, a great deal of what Salem's history was all about from Tom Moyer, my predecessor. Uh, my family uh, consists of my two children who are 19 and 21, uh, my daughter Jillian and my son Aiden, and they're both very active, uh, and I guess I balance it by understanding what, you know, their interests are, and uh, I'm pretty active myself. I do a lot of hiking uh, and a lot of biking, and... Um, my son's a great uh, skateboarder, and my daughter loves volleyball, so I really get interested in what their uh, uh, interests are. And then we also do a lot of traveling together. My favorite part has been understanding and learning about all the different uh, people and operations that we have here. And um, what I've really got a great appreciation for is the the people who come in every day and contribute to the success of our operations on every level, the pride they take in their jobs and um, uh, their abilities to really uh, affect what we do and uh, all the people that, that make that up in here are just fabulous. So I, I really enjoyed getting to know everybody since I've joined Salem, Washington. I'd say the proudest moment, having joined the company right before the pandemic started, was our first event last fall with our pastor's event down at the Museum of the Bible. And uh, seeing uh, the ability for our radio stations to affect that community and have the outpouring of the pastoral community show up that day and um, participate with uh, everything that we did there with Pastor Jack Hibbs, a panel discussion of our local pastors, and um, we also paid tribute to Tom as he retired. So it was a full day, uh, it was a full room, and just uh, proved to me that the um, ability for our, our um, uh, signals in our community to uh, uh, to be there in force and the Museum of the Bible was just a great forum for us to uh, to have that event.